I'm going to try and catch a fish on this uh, mini rod. Pop that through the lip, up through the nose. Check the drag. And let's see. Oh, come on, stay on. No, stay on. Right there. God, oh, that's a solid fish. Oh my God, that's a solid fish. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I left the SD card at home for my other camera, so you're gonna sort of be getting a POV uh, angle for this whole episode, but it's worth it. I catch several fish and I catch a fish on the mini fishing rod. If you enjoy fishing in the outdoors, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now, because you don't want to miss any upcoming episodes, especially stuff like this where I'm just outside catching fish. I'm just hanging out with the new baby CEO, Kai. Hey Kai, how you doing buddy? How you doing buddy? I do have to go to the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle today to uh, link up with those guys and try and create a promo for all of my viewers. A way to save you guys some money. So I'm gonna head up to the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle here in a, in a little while. Just make sure my wife is all situated. And uh, Kai just puked up on himself after I just cleaned him up. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of that right now. While I'm stuck in traffic here, um, got a question regarding bait casters. Is there an advantage to using a right-handed reel bait caster versus a left-handed reel bait caster? My opinion is that I do everything better with a left-handed reel bait caster and uh, I can flip it the same, I can work the lures and I can actually set the hook better. Uh, and when I switch back and forth from spinner to bait caster, there's no like getting used to or jump from in between. So that's my opinion. Drop some comments. Let's have the discussion. What's better, left-handed bait caster or right-handed bait caster? And give me your reasons why. What are the pros and cons? I just grabbed some NLBNs from the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle. Today I got time to sneak out of the house ditch the wife and the baby. I shouldn't say it like that, should I? But yeah, basically I got to ditch the wife and the baby to go fishing. I'm using a mini fishing rod and catching some peacock bass. And then I bust out the bait caster and I whip out some no live bait needed that I got from the real hooker bait and tackle to catch some more fish. I found this little trail. I'm pretty sure there's water back here, but man, there's spider webs all over me. There's spiders everywhere. Comment below if you're, you're afraid of spiders or you would mess with spiders. But uh, I don't know if this is going in someone's yard or uh, trying to get through these trees, but no, look at this. It looks like people have been here before. I can see the ground is all stomped out, but uh, heck, there's a little spot to fish here. So let me see if there's any fish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, I'm on, I'm off. I'm on again, I'm on again. Ah! Oh, come on, stay on. No, stay on. Oh. Is it on? Is he on or did he spit it? Oh, he's still on, he's still on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let me tighten this a little bit. Oh, he's on, come on. Come on, what do I got? Come on, come on. Oh, okay, bro. It keeps feeling like he's spitting my line, but he's not. I gotta reel down a lot. The, the, the gear ratio is so slow. Come on, There's a you can see the fish right there. That's a beautiful fish if I can get him in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, he doesn't want to come in for nothing. Come on. I just got to reel as fast as I can. Who cares about the gears blowing up? Woo! Who cares about the gears blowing up? Let's get him in. There it is, there it is. Come on, come on, come on. Woo, nice little jump. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Reel down. Okay, it's a four pound line, so let's gently bring them up. Oh, look at that, guys. Look what I just caught. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful peacock bass. Barely hooked, look at that. Barely hooked. Let me get that out. Look, look. That's what we're working with here. This little, little rod. But man, cat caught a beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's let him go. Heck of a fight for a little guy. It almost felt like he was spitting the hook a few times. So I thought I lost him. This line gets all bunched up. And this is a four pound mono that I have on here. So uh, there you go, mini rod. Put in some work today. Comment below mini rod and I'm gonna heart your comment. All right, well you saw me catch a peacock bass on that mini rod. Now it's time for me to use the uh, NLBN that I got from the real hooker bait and tackle. Yeah, I can see great with the glasses, but this algae bloom is not cooperating with me at all. Let's see. Got a fish. Got one. Got him. Right there on the NLBN. Pop that out. Beautiful colors on this little peacock bass. There you go. Go back in there. Well, that was good. Got one. I see something down deep right over there. Something down deep. Come on. Is it the fish that I want? Is it the fish that I need? Got him. Oh. Almost came off my hand. Woo. Another one. Another one. Right there. Look at that. Oh, he tore me up. Tore me up. But look at that. Another beautiful fish. See if I can fix this lure. Get some more use out of it. Ooh. Ooh. This is when you leave your tackle box and you don't have extra plastics to throw on. I did not think it would get this destroyed. That's good enough. Get one more drop right here. One more drop right here. I'm in the zone right now. Damn, I wish I brought the little mini rod over here. That would have been fun. God, ooh, that's a solid fish. Oh my God, that's a solid fish. Woo. Ooh, come on. I foul hooked the hell out of him, but I don't care. Woo. Sorry, buddy. I don't know how the heck that happened, but we're gonna flip you out real quick and get that out of your forehead. Let's go, whoop. Oh. Hey, in the mouth, in the nose, we don't care. There we go. Little bigger peacock bass right there. Get him in the water. That right there is the national tree of Puerto Rico. Ladies, beautiful color flowers. But yeah, when you're driving down the streets, you see these beautifully bright orange, almost reddish color flowers. That is the official tree of Puerto Rico. And I only know that because I am married to a Puerto Rican. And every time we drive by one, she lets me know. Guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on right now so you don't miss any upcoming episodes, you know. And stay tuned, I got more updates on the baby and uh, a lot more fishing. So. I hope you enjoy them. Hit subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.